Hi, hello students. Welcome to Let's Understand Physics. We are doing revision series for class 10 CBSE students, Physics, Light Reflection Refraction Chapter. Already we have seen two models of numericals, long answers in the two previous videos. Now this is the third model of numerical which is asked in previous year question paper. This question is from 2023 question paper. Okay. So, you may expect this kind of question also this year. Now, let us see. The power of a lens is plus 4 diopter. So, here they have given the power of the lens. By seeing this plus 4 diopter, by seeing this plus itself, you should understand which lens it is. They have not specified what is the lens. They just told lens and plus 4 diopter. Find the focal length of this lens. So, if you know power, you can find focal length, isn't it? There is direct formula. An object is placed at a distance of 50 centimeter. Now, where is the object placed at 50 centimeter? So, 50 centimeter is the distance from the optic center of the lens. We know, right, from optic center only, we will measure all the distances. Next, state the nature and the magnification of the image formed by the lens now they are not asking you to find the image position instead they are asking you to just tell what is the nature and magnification of the image formed by the lens and also draw a ray diagram to justify your answer whatever nature and magnification you write you have to justify it with the ray diagram that's all you need not to solve it understood if you don't need to solve there will be a logic, isn't it? So, it is a logical based question. Let us see what is the solution. Okay. Pause this question and try to answer it. You will get the idea. If you have any doubt, just watch the video. Understood? Now, let us see. Now, what is the given data? We will write. What is the given data? Power value is given, which is equal to plus 4 diopter. Plus means what? In the previous video itself we have seen blindly if it is plus it will be convex whether it is mirror or lens. Isn't it? So, what is the relation between power and focal length? Power is equal to 1 by F when the focal length is in meter and 100 by F in centimeter. Isn't it? Now, in the question... The distance measured is in centimeter as it is given 50 centimeter. We will use the centimeter formula so that you will have easy relation between the focal length and the object distance. Understood? Now let us find out. Substitute power is equal to 100 by F. In place of power what is the value? 4 diopter they have given equal to 100 by F. So, if you simplify, you send F this side and 4 this side, it becomes 100 by 4, isn't it? F is equal to 100 by 4. So, 4 ones and 4, 20 wise. So, what is the focal length value? F is equal to 25 centimeter. Understood? Now, where is the object place do they have given? U is equal to 50 centimeter, isn't it? Now, see the relationship. F is 25 centimeter, U is 50 centimeter. That means 2 times of focal length, isn't it? So, the object is placed at 2F. Object where it is placed? At 2F. That means where is the image formed? Image is also formed at 2F only. Isn't it? But the other side of 2F. Then what will be the size of the object? Nature of the object? Nature of the object is real image. Real image. And the size will be same size as the object. And all the real images are inverted images. Understood? Now, 
let's draw the ray diagram what is the lens we have seen convex lens isn't it only convex lens will have real images and different sizes of images now we have convex lens object at 2f you have to take so this case ray diagram you have to draw that is the justification you will give for the answer what you have got 50 cm and 25 cm understood now let's draw the diagram i am taking convex lens then what we have to draw i am drawing with different colors so that it will be easy for you to identify the light rays okay so i have drawn principal axis then mark the points here optic center this side i am writing f1 2f1 f2 and 2f2 so between optic center and f2 we have focal length which is on the positive x axis understood then where is the object placed object is always placed this side on the negative x axis in front of the lens you can take understood now where is the object position you have to take object position is at 2f1 that is what they told so here what is the distance 25 centimeter between optic center and focus now 2f1 and f1 will be this 50 centimeter on negative x axis in the same way optic center and 2f2 also you will have same value 50 centimeter only because you know the relationship isn't it r is equal to 2f understood now let's take the rays from the object now let's take first ray parallel ray to the principal axis once it is reaching the lens it passes through focus of the other side f2 understood you have to mark the arrow marks then second ray which is passing through the optic center let's draw through optic center it will be straight isn't it use scale and pencil to draw i am just drawing here because you have to see this so if you see now if you use 2 cm distance like between optic center f1 2f1 and here 2 cm here 2 cm 2 cm and 2 cm if you take you get correctly that diagram so and you can draw straight line carefully so they are meeting here at this point at this point they are actually meeting join this like this so here you will have image form this blue color red color is the object and this is image so object is placed at 2f1 image is placed are formed at 2f2 understood so this is the justification when you place object at optic center to 2f1 image will be from optic center to 2f2 so v will be equal to u but in the different sides understood that's why the size will be same understood everyone like this if you draw the ray diagram and write the answer you will get full marks i hope everybody understood this question and answer which is asked in 2023 board exam practice 
these type of questions you may expect these questions in your exam don't forget to subscribe and share the video